Hello everyone, this is Lydia at Homespun Quilt and Yarn in Astoria, Oregon. I am working on a pattern called Ombre Christmas Village, which happens to use a ton of templates. And this is a, this is actually a picture of the cutting for the background. And you can see this is showing me how I'm going to cut the template pieces. The first thing we need to do is print the templates. And you want to print those at actual size or 100%. And normally you would get a, a square on here, which I've cut off for different reasons. But So there, normally there would be a square here and be a full square. And the measurement would be one inch by one inch. So you want to measure that after you print them to make sure these are the right size. Okay, so when I cut these out, I use a small ruler. And here, maybe you can see it, this dotted line is my quarter inch line. And these templates have a quarter inch line on the inside. And I like to put my dotted line just outside of the um, quarter inch end. And I'm doing this upside down because my camera's in the way. So I'm gonna extend this out. this down. This should give me some more room to work too. And this little cutter is um, one I only use for paper. If I need to use it for quilting, I'll put a new blade in it. Okay. And it's, like I said, it's difficult to do this with the Nope. Well, that didn't work, did it? Okay, close your eyes for a minute because I have to get this back in here. Maybe. Again, I'm putting my quarter inch line just outside of the black line there. Go upside down. This flat edge. I just kind of eyeball these. These little corners are going to help me match up the pieces really well. sorry but I do recommend cutting two of these and I will show you why you can take these pieces and two rulers and the first ruler you're going to tape the template to the back side of your ruler so you'll always have this straight line. 
and you can see that my quarter inch line on my ruler is writing right on that dotted line. So now I can take the next piece and put that, make sure I get this right, on this side. And most of the time you're going to be putting these templates right side up. So, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Do this right? No. So this one, I want to go this way. So what I really did instead of tape, because I couldn't find any double-sided tape, it was tape. Ah. Use a glue stick. And put the ruler. And this will show that my cut wasn't precise, but that's okay too. Okay, so now I have my templates right side up on the back of the rulers, and that means I have my straight lines that I can just use alternately. Yep, that was well. And you can see on here that you're going to cut a strip that says long as the template. I have to put this back on because this one fell off. Right. We'll do that when we get there. So, picture. I've got my Strips cut out and you can see that my template piece is the same height, I guess, as my fabric. So normally with a paper template you would place it and then you would cut along this line and then hope that you didn't cut the um, paper. So there's my first two. And also I put these Hatsy. I already cut the little slice off that template. I also put these wrong sides to wrong sides, so now I have my reverse as well. Okay, now that I have my template taped to here, oh and this is where I need the other one, of course it is. Okay. Bear with me while I re -tape, re tape. Uh, re glue this to the ruler. Putting a little more glue on there this time. Okay. So this one. Took 
my mind is going. I want this looks like. This one upside down, so sorry again. I don't mean to be so. I don't know, maybe it's Dyslexia, maybe it's just mirrors. But I, what I want is one of these pieces to have the long edge of my template and the other one to have the other side. So this is probably going to be. Okay, and I, I did turn this one upside down, and I lined this, see that little straight edge right here, I lined that up on the inch line so that's easier. And this is not cooperating. <clears throat> and I see I did this wrong. It's not going well. It's not going well. Let's try the second and it's not going well. Okay. So I'm just gonna stick that there. 